we as human beings are always manifesting whether we like it or not whatever energy you send out to the universe that is the same energy that comes back to you delusion is not necessarily bad if you do not believe in god you do not believe in the power of the universe i don't know if this video is for you this is how i've been living my life i've always known that i would be a great person i would be wealthy i would live my dream so it's like i need to talk to these people and give them the tips and tricks that have been working for me what is manifestation manifesting is all about believing that you already have something and letting it come to you so speak in the present and use active words so when you're living a life of manifestation you're living as if you've already gotten what you've always wanted to get okay so now let's say your ideal person she wakes up in the morning and she has her coffee she journals and she has a prayer of course she talks with god he directs her for the day and she has a whole schedule planned she romanticizes as she drives to work even if you don't have car even if you are, you're inside Kirken, you're inside bus you're romanticizing it you're picturing yourself as if you're inside car it's like being delusional and delusion is not necessarily bad i'll explain as time goes on let me give this illustration have we watched encanto we don't talk about Bruno, no, no. the sister that has the gift of bringing rain and sunshine and all of that when she's angry clouds form there's there's storm there's dark clouds when she's worried when she's anxious a dark cloud forms around her when she's happy there's rays of of sunshine you know everything is beautiful that is how i want us to see manifestation now and listen to this very carefully we as human beings are always manifesting whether we like it or not so why not manifest the positive why not manifest what you want to see in your life since you know that you're always manifesting Whatever energy you send out to the universe, that is the same energy that comes back to you. Lucky Girl Syndrome is the latest interpretation of Law of Assumption, which proposes that when we act as though what we want is already our reality and believe it, then we are rewarded with the things we most desire in life. So basically, as a lucky girl, you're saying everything that I deserve in life, it's coming my way. I will get it. And that's it. It's an energy thing. See, it's all in the mind. God is the center of everything for me. If you do not believe in God, you do not believe in the power of the universe. I don't know if this video is for you, to be honest. The word of God has given me every assurance that I need to know that, hey girl, you are a creation. God did not create you to make you suffer. He did not creates you to just allow bad things to happen to you without an end January 1st I know what he said to me through his word not long after that I started losing on every side and it's like this is the opposite of what I planned that's weird but here I am traveling as I've always wanted making the money and if I had just given up and just said what he promised me is not even what is happening so what's the point if I had given up and I had not tried when I got the opportunities the next opportunities that I got I would not be reaping the benefits right now I want to point this out in case you're the person that probably you've always doubted yourself or you have doubts once I mean sometimes I have doubts no kidding but then the fact that it stuck in my subconscious that I was not born for the average life it has been major because this guides me in everything I do. It has always guided me from my primary school to my secondary school to uni after uni to my business to work to investment. If you have the mindset that you're meant for great things, if you have the mindset that everything that happens, the good, bad, the ugly, aligns to ensure that you have the amazing life you're meant to have, there is nothing you can't do. It guides everything you do. Let me just give you a short story. When I was transferred to Zamfara State, lots of people that heard that we are freaking out, bandits, this one down, and I'm like, chill. The universe got me. She knows that this girl needs to be in this place if she's going to achieve certain things. And I am so grateful that I was transferred to that place for work because a lot of things that I have achieved, I would not have achieved them if I wasn't in that kind of environment. I got there, I found opportunities and I leveraged on it. Sure, I had few setbacks, but did that stop me? No, because a girl that is manifesting the life of her dreams doesn't get stopped. It's not about wishful thinking. 
it's about aligning your thoughts everything you do to that ideal life and don't see the ideal life as one far time in the future do you know that you are where you used to pray to be what makes you think you're not going to get to the place you want to be you work hard we pray to get to a certain stage and then when we get to that stage we are looking for the next thing we forget to enjoy the moment and that is another thing enjoy the moment the level you are is where you're meant to be enjoy it don't worry don't worry you get to the next level as long as you keep working hard you keep your mind set on your goals you will achieve it i am at a point in my life where i very few, i've always had few friends anyway but even at that not just friends acquaintances if i sense the slightest bit of bad energy coming from you i give you space don't run. Don't run. It's very important that you surround yourself with people that believe in you, people that are striving towards achieving similar goals to yours, or even if they don't understand you, but at least they don't speak negatively about your dreams. There is power in association. Only those that have positive mindsets should be in your space. And finally, action. All of these things, it's just going to be wishful thinking if you don't put it into action. And you won't believe the skills that I've had to learn in order to make money in the past and even till now. If you want me to make a video about my side hustles from past till present, how I'm able to sustain myself, how I'm able to make all these travels, then you should comment below. I just want you to understand that manifestation is not witchcraft. It is not wishful thinking. It is about changing your mindset, knowing that you were meant for great things, living as though you were you're already dead. Trust me, it will guide you. It will change everything about you. It will change the way you see things. You don't just daydream, but you work hard towards it. You put your base on God. I really hope you've learned a thing or two from this video. Give it a thumbs up. I think you can give it a thumbs up now. Ensure you subscribe if you've not. Thanks for staying till the end. I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Peace out.